Sweden is said to be one of the first countries in the world to eliminate the use of fossil fuels in its power generation. It's going to build one of the biggest wind farms ever built in history that, that they say will provide as much power as a nuclear power plant. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Sweden has made incredible progress towards transitioning away from fossil fuels. Today, Sweden gets power from six different major energy sources. Those include hydropower. Hydropower, in fact, is the largest source of electricity in Sweden. The country has many, many rivers and abundant water resources, which make hydropower a reliable and renewable energy source. It accounts for a massive portion of Sweden's electricity production now. In fact, Sweden has so much power from rivers that it actually uses some of them as dams or basically as massive batteries. Sweden also does get power from nuclear power plants. It has a strong presence in nuclear power generation. It operates several nuclear power plants that contribute a substantial share of the country's electricity supply. Nuclear power has historically played a crucial role in meeting Sweden's energy needs. However, wind power is going to overtake nuclear at some point in the future in Sweden. And a lot of that is down to the fact that they're about to install enough wind to actually supply more energy than a nuclear power plant. Wind power is currently the fastest growing source of energy in Sweden. The country has a vast wind resource, particularly in coastal areas and offshore locations. Sweden also gets electricity from biomass, including wood pallets and forestry residues. And that's another important component of Sweden's power generation mix. Biomass power plants produce electricity by burning organic materials, providing a renewable energy source that contributes to reducing carbon emissions. Sweden also gets power from solar. Solar power is a relatively smaller but growing part of Sweden's energy mix. The country has been expanding its solar capacity mainly through rooftop solar installations and larger solar farms. Now, Sweden does get a small part of its energy generation from fossil fuels, but that's going to end within probably five years. Sweden has been reducing its reliance on fossil fuels, particularly in electricity generation. The share of fossil fuels in Sweden's power mix is quite low to most other countries around the world. And Sweden has just given the green light to two offshore wind farms that will generate more power than a large nuclear power plant. Once these wind farms are operational, well, fossil fuels will be almost extinct in Sweden. Sweden's government has approved two massive offshore wind farms off the country's west coast, totaling some 100 massive turbines, while stressing that it was not abandoning nuclear power. The two farms are expected to contribute 6.5 terawatt hours when completed, which the government said is expected to take seven years. Swedish state-owned utility Vattenfall was given a permit for the Kattegat Sid Park with 80 turbines planned, and renewable energy company OX2 was given a permit for the Galeen Park with a further 21 turbines, totaling 101 massive wind turbines. These two wind farms which are both located at sea, are roughly equivalent to one nuclear power plant, said the Prime Minister of Sweden. At the same time, the Prime Minister stressed that nuclear power was part of the government's strategy to expand Sweden's production of fossil-free energy. He said that Parliament was about to change its goal of 100% renewable energy to 100% fossil-free energy. However, the Scandinavian country have gone back on something they decided on 45. Back in 1980, Sweden's government decided to phase out nuclear power. Now the government is saying, no, 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 we're changing that rule. We're going to maintain our nuclear power plants and we'll simply start installing more renewable energy than we need, meaning that we'll be able to run 100% on clean energy generation. Now, the truth is, yes, nuclear power plants actually are pretty clean. Some people might disagree with that. Let me know if you agree or you disagree in the comments. That said, though, since 1980, when the Swedish government made that decision, they actually shut down six of their 12 nuclear reactors. And the remaining ones generate around 30% of the power used in Sweden today. By the time these wind farms are operational in around seven to eight years in Sweden, 
the country will rely solely on renewable energy and clean energy sources. So this is a win for Sweden. Other countries are following suit. Germany is following the same plan as Sweden. Australia is as well. Now, there's a number of other countries around the world that are following this path towards clean renewable energy. We often hear this stuff in the news, right? Everything's going to hell. The world's going to be so hot, we won't be able to live here. Actually, good things are happening. Many countries are speeding up their goals toward 100% renewables. And as renewables come down in price, as battery storage comes down in price, I think we'll see continued turbocharging of wind farms, solar, and batteries. Let me know your thoughts on this. Should Sweden keep their nuclear power plants or should they get rid of them and install more wind, solar, and batteries? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.